Hello, in this video we are going to make a socket application and we are going to make the client send messages to the server. Uh, right here I have a simple class, empty class for the server and one for the client. Let's start with the server. I'm going to make a private variable. Let's name it uh, server and it's going to be of type server socket so server socket then we are going to create a public method void that is going to initialize and start the server so init and start and this method will initialize our server equals to new server socket and we're gonna pass on the port then we are going to start the server or at least make it run so here server is running and then we are going to add a while loop true inside this loop we are going to call the client sockets so client socket once the client wants to connect to the server the server would accept it and then we are going to display that the client is connected. Once we have that, we're going to define our own method that is going to read message from socket. And we're going to pass on the client socket. So let's go ahead and create this method. And uh, this method will basically use a buffered reader to read the message and display it to the screen. So let's create a buffered reader. Reader equals new buffered reader. And it takes an input stream reader that we are going to get from the client sockets. And then once we have that ready, we can read. So for um, int chr is going to be the character that we're going to read from the reader. Dot read. Then the condition is reader dot ready. So as long as it's ready, we're going to keep on reading. And chr equals to reader dot read. Right. In this loop we are going to print a message and inside here we are going to see char version of the chr okay i'm um, gonna add here throws exception same for any and start throws exception and one last method is going to be close public void close and in this method method we're going to simply check if the server is not null if it's the case we are going to close it so server dot close i'm gonna add a try catch block and let's go back to the client. For the client, it's going to be the same approach. So private socket socket and then public void init. And here we're going to in, we're going to initialize this socket. So socket equals new socket. We need to pass on the host, which is one two seven point zero point zero point one, and the port which is 3030. Once we have our socket ready, we can uh, send a message. So public void send message string msg. And here we are going to send our message to the clients. For that, we need a print writer. So let's call it print writer. Writer equals a new print writer socket dot get output stream and we're gonna set the auto flash to true then we can set the writer to print out the message we have 
right so let's just add some throws exception here and here we can add a message here connecting to the server change the all here and here we're gonna print send in the message to the server all right so we'll add one last thing I'm just gonna copy it here the close that we have on the server we're gonna do the same for the client Okay, let's do that and we're gonna finish up by adding a main method and in this, in this main method we are simply going to run everything so client client equals new client and add a try clients dot init and client dot send message hello world and catch the exception and we're gonna close the client if we have the exception thrown same for the server gonna create main server server equals new server and the try server dot initialize and start catch the exception if we have the exception, we are going to close it. All right, that looks good. So let's go ahead and run everything. So I'm gonna run the server first. Okay, so server is running. Let's go ahead and run the client. All right, so it's connected to the server and it has sent this message to the server. Let's go and open the server and we can see the message right here. It's back to the client and I'm gonna send another message. Hello world to run the client again. And open the server and client is connected again and we can see hello world to. Let's change it to hi all let's run the client back to the server and we have hi all that's it for this video if you have uh, any question feel free to put them in the comments down below and i'll see you in the next video